Hello there guys and welcome to GBTV in this video ooh, looking at something different yes I have had the opportunity to work with the Big Potato Games people um, these lovely wonderful people here who make such incredible um, board games uh, you might have heard of a couple of them um, the ones that I've got in my collection personally are Herd Mentality The Chameleon Obama Llama 2 Blockbuster, Muffin Time, the list just goes on and on and on. And this is one of their brand new games that they've sent out to me. Um, it's not available to buy it, I don't think. Um, or at least it wasn't when I checked the Big Potato website this morning. But yeah, this is Nice Buns. It is a game about collecting different coloured bow buns. You roll the dice, make a deal, collect your buns. So yeah, it is for ages 10 and up. And it is for 2 to 6 players. And yes, this sticker was meant to be in the box, but yeah. So we'll have a look and see. Well, actually, well, no, we'll have a look at the back of the box first. So it's a fluffy light strategy game. Welcome to the Nice Buns Buffet. Take a seat, roll the dice, and race to collect three matching sets of bow buns. Just watch out for the other diners around the table. They'll stop at nothing to steal your dice, ruin your meal, and take the buns for themselves. Roll three dice. Which will you choose? Pick a random bun from the Steven bag. Take a bun from the middle. Or steal a bun from another player's plate. And you don't want to get stuck with the fish head buns. And then you can scan that little QR code. Uh, to see the game in action. Or I'll go through how the game is played in this video as well. So we'll open it up and see what we get. So straight away we get the instruction booklet. Uh, thank you for dining at the Nice Duns Buffet. It's laid out like a menu. Because Big Potato always always make sure that their um, instruction booklets are always like properly themed, which is amazing. So so you have so you've got the goal, you've got the content, setting up, blah 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 blah, and I'll show you how the game is played. And then we have two sheets. We have one. Yeah yeah, I have already popped all these out. These are the serving trays and the main serving plate. Or rather the serving tray. And then these are your plates that you put your bow buns on. You get six of them because obviously it's for two to six players. So there's those ones. And this, this honestly, when I saw these, these little... Oh, these are dice guides, right? These, honestly, I was so impressed to see these. Because... Whenever I've played games before, I'm going to have to make it wide angle so it doesn't get that strobing. Um, whenever I've played games before, and I had to keep on checking the rules, these make it really easy because you can just put these on the table while you're playing. And yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much, Big Potato Games, for actually giving some decent dice guides to stop us from checking the manual every two minutes. You have a little... Paper bag, so nice, plastic free, with your dice. You have your your bag dice, you have your coloured one, and then you have your um, trading or stealing one. We'll get to those in a bit. And then you have your steamer bag here, full of nice little bow buns. And yes, it does say nice buns. So we'll get the box out of the way. And we'll set up for a game, shall we? So we'll say... That is blue versus yellow versus red, just because it's easy. Blue will be here, yellow, and can I fit red on there in the camera frame? I can indeed, look at that. So blue, yellow, red. We'll bring the serving tray in here, and we have the bag here. So, the first thing we got to do is make sure everyone has at least two buns. So, I'm going to shake up the bun bag. We'll open it up, and I'm going to randomly pick out... Two buns for each player. They can't be matching, so those will be for the blue. Those will be for the yellow. And those will be for the red. Ah, no, those won't be for the red. Because you don't want the fish face one. Fish head? What was it called again? Fish head, fish eyes? I don't know. Um, yeah, fish head. I really don't want a fish head bun as you start to so, so put that back in and draw again. Let's see, this one is, there we go. So now each player has two of their own. 
I'm just going to bring some more lights in. There we go. And now we get some for the serving tray. You need six buns on the serving tray. So what I'll do is I'll just draw six at random. Okay, we got some fish heads. We'll chuck those back in. Again, we need to draw three more. We need to draw two more. Seriously? Okay, I need to draw one more. There we go. So we'll put the fish heads back in for now. And we'll tie the bag back up. There we go. So just arrange these. Just so it looks all nice and pretty. It doesn't need to, but it just makes the whole game run a little bit smoother. So, that is the setup. So, we'll, we'll go blue, yellow, red in, in terms of play. And we'll just play a couple rounds just so you get the hang of it. So, I'm going to pop these off to one side actually. Just there so you can still see them. But I'm just going to leave it open just so I can reach in easier. So, so. It is blue player's turn first. They roll the dice. They roll. And that is what we have here. So you so first of all you need to split it up. So in this case. Uh, oh yeah, out of by split up, you can choose into two groups. You can either go two two dice and one die, or three dice and no die. In this case. Looking at the dice guide. So we'll need to take two buttons from a bag, one at a time. This one, you can take any colour from the seven tray. And this one, you can give a button to another player. But, but one player does not do all these unless they choose to group them together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these into two groups. I'm going to go there and there. And now I believe the player to the left gets to choose... Um, which one they want. Yes, so the player on the left must decide which group of dice they want to keep for themselves and which group they'll leave for the player who rolled. So, this is where the strategy starts to come in. So, yellow gets to choose which set of dice they want. So, we'll say that yellow will choose those and blue chooses that one. Now, you go in the size order, because they're different sizes. So, yellow will grab two two buns from the bag. That's good, because the aim of the game is to get three, three complete sets of three buns. So, now we go into this one, which is, which is the pick any from here. So, we've got blue, we've got yellow, we might as well try and get another colour, so we'll go red. And then as soon as you take one from there... You need to replace it with another bun. And now the bigger one. Give a bun to another player. So it probably wasn't wise that we've done that. But yellow will give it to red. And that is one one turn. So we roll again. And then we'll see what we get this time. So we'll shake it all up. Oh, okay. So it's yellow's turn. We will separate the big one. And give these ones. So... Red will choose to steal, eventually. So that leaves orange with these ones. So orange picks up, no, yellow picks up three buns, one at a time. That's one. We, like, we're actually good. And then they've got a complete set. There we go. Gonna mix them all. We have two. And we have three. That is actually perfect because now we have a yellow or a blue. Taken from there. One, two, three. That's now three complete buns on there. And draw another one out there. And mix it all up again, make it fair. And now this one, if you look on the dice guide, that symbol means you can steal a bun from another player as long as it's not on their plate because. Any buns that make it onto your plate are yours to stay. No one can touch them. Nothing touches them. Not even if you get like you know more like that. Nothing touches them. But you can only collect one color set essentially. Wait up. No. Wait. No. You can only collect one of each color. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, so red is going to steal either the yellow from yellow, or the blue or the red from blue uh so 
Red's going to pinch red, because it's red. And that is yellow's turn complete. And then move on to red's turn. It looks like it might be quite a quick game, actually, looking at this. So red's turn is those dice there. Again, so it's two dice and there. Um, so, um, I, you know, I want to get to a fish head scenario, just so you guys can see what it's like. So we'll just carry on, carry on until we get to a fish head. So, uh, we're going to split it up like that. Um, just make it a bit more interesting. Um, so it's Blue's turn to choose which dice they want. Blue is going to do that, and you're going to do that. So, again, size order. So, two two from the back. Blue's going to pull out, uh-oh, a fish head. Right. You don't want fish heads. I mean, at the moment, it's okay, but you don't want fish heads. We'll grab another one. Yeah, it's red. So, fish heads. These are essentially wild cards, in a, in a, in a sense. Um, in a sense that if blue had two blues, it would attach itself to that set. And, and then that would essentially be three blues, but it can't go on the plate. If you were then to get another blue, that would make four blues. And all those would go back in the bag. Because once you get to four of one colour, yeah, you just can't. Um, they all go back into the bag because you can't be greedy. The only way to get rid of those is if you give it to people or if people um, pinch it. So, uh, we'll now do this one over here. So, red can either pinch a yellow or a blue from the plate. We'll take a blue and we will replace it with the red. And now, blue can now steal anything from over here. And he's going to steal a yellow, which is risky because of that one there. Because now we put the yellow there, the fish head goes to there. Now, if blue ever gets another yellow, then he has to put all those yellows back and start again. And now it is blue's turn because that is that that go finished. And we'll move on to blue's turn. It doesn't say how long the game should normally last, but it, but it does look like it would be quite quick. So. Here we go. So it's Blue's turn. So Blue has to separate these up. And actually, just to make it interesting, or a bit more interesting, I'm going to change this one to another thing. And I'm also going to change this one to one that we haven't seen before. So we've seen Steal. We've seen Give. We'll see Trade in action as well. So Blue's turn. Blue's rolled this. Well, Blue doesn't want to um, draw anything out. So I'll put it over there. But he does want to put something back in. And he will do that. So now it's Yellow's turn. Yellow's going to feel kind and generous. And Yellow's going to take those two and give Blue that one. So again, in size order. So two from the bag. There's one. That's not good. And there is two. Now we do this one. There you go. Blue has just put the fish head back in the bag. That's 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 completely fine. That's a completely legal move. And now trading. Um, you know what? Yellow's feeling generous. Um, he will trade a yellow for a red, just to give blue something to go for. There we go. And turn over. Roll again. And it's literally just a dice rolling game. Here we go, we got something different as well. So, yellow rolled, he's going to uh, give somebody and take somebody and, and do that. So, red will choose. Ah, now, now red is going to choose to do those ones and force yellow to take some. So, red's going to do that. Yellow can do that. So, again, size order. So, one at a time. Oh, he's lucky. Uh, actually, you could put that one back in the bag. But that is still still one draw. And there you go. That's another draw. So so he he didn't gain, he didn't lose. Now we do red. Red uh, can take either a green or a red from the tray. Oh, red will take a red. And they now have a complete set of buttons. 
and give one to another player. Well, red will do that. And so we go again. Um, I think this will be the third round that we'll do, and then I'll do the video. So here we go. So we have one uh, yellow, blue, and trade. So we will we will just actually blue's going to feel. Um, actually, no, it isn't a case of blue feeling generous or not, because if they do it into a three and a zero, yellow can still choose whether they want want to do all the dice or none of the dice. So we'll do a um, all all in one. So yellow has decided. That he's going to go with a zero option. So blue is going to do all of these. So. In size order. This is where it could get risky. Because if blue pulls out. A fish head right now. All of these blues. Go back into the bag. And starts over. So. What will blue get? Okay blue got a green. That's okay. Oh hang on. We forgot to replace that. Do that now. Um, this one. Blue can take either a blue or a yellow. He's already got yellow, so he can't take any more yellows. And there's no blue, so he can't do anything. But he can trade. He can trade the green for the blue. And that makes another set. And play essentially continues like this. Until somebody gets three complete sets of different colours onto their plate. And that is a quick guide, quick-ish guide, on how to play Big Potato's new game, Nice Buns. All with a nice, catchy little um, um, pun in the name. So, if you guys do want to get Nice Buns or any of the other Big Potato games, games then, then head on over to the link in the description um, to the Big Potato website. Um, and... I'm even feeling generous. If you guys DM me on Instagram, um, or or just here on um, YouTube, I will send you guys a special discount code that will get you twenty percent off your entire order. So if your game is ten pounds, it will only cost you eight pounds, and so on and so forth. So really, if you spend twenty pounds, you'll only pay pay sixteen pounds bargain right so dm me on instagram and youtube uh, my instagram will be in the description down below along with the link to big potatoes website but yeah check out nice buns and check out nice buns and all the other amazing games that big potato um have available and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye for now